It's high noon, which means it has got to be go time for the show dedicated to the show dedicated to social engineering at the barn on the street. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushwood, and let's celebrate last week's winners. Congratulations to Caleb Hengel, Jimmy Donos, Leonard Chatouver. I hope I said that right. Alessandro Borello and Deacon Carr. You were five of the 614 people who figured out that when I said there was no giveaway, that there was no secret message, I was totally a liar. If you go back and watch again, you'll notice little bits of a QR code interspersed throughout the episodes. Boop, boop, boop. All you had to do was assemble them together and it would take you to this secret video. Aha! Of course there's a giveaway! There's always a giveaway! And of course there's a secret message! There's always a secret message! And you are part of the elite secret inner circle who made it to this video, which guess what? Means you're gonna be in a secret drawing all by yourself. So this week on The Modern Rogue, Jason and I explored Miraculin, the incredible substance inside of Miracle Fruit Berries that actually coats your tongue and actually blocks out sour and bitter tastes, making everything taste like candy. It was incredible. You will not believe this. Check this out. It's not as bad. Mm, mm. It's sour. It's okay. not as bad as you think going into it. It's the after pangs. <laughs> it's not sour at all. Oh, hot damn, that is good. Yeah, that's really tasty, right? Oh, wow. my God. That went from painful and a dare mm -hmm. to instantly being sweet, sweet lemonade. I hate mustard. I hate, I hate vinegar. I love peppers, but right. I guess. Cheers. Eh. That's the worst. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> You're not encouraging me. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> it's just not sour anymore. The mustard is the big surprise. The mustard gives a weird spicy pop and you can identify it as mustard. Yeah, you can taste the sweetness of the Tabasco sauce. I hate the smell of vinegar. I hate vinegar-based cleaning agents. I hate anything vinegar, anything vinegar. I hate you, vinegar. Just a sip. Don't you have shot glasses in here? <laughs> this is like a novelty drink. There is still the distinct hint of vinegar there. If you told me on that first hit that I was having some new formulation of lemon lime Gatorade, I mm. would have believed you. I right. will not, I will not, I will, uh, I'm not, I will not, I will not. No, 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 I seriously, I seriously hate pickles. Really? <laughs> These are dill pickle chips, which are generally more sour. After this, they taste more like um, bread and butter pickles. Dude, you got it, come on. Are you kidding me? Everything I hate about pickles is not happening right now. I am not experiencing the, the, the pain of the saliva rush. This is a very novel experience. Right on. If you've never experienced it, doing a miracle fruit taste test is an absolute freaking blast. The whole experience lasts around 45 minutes and it is something you will never forget. It is like magic. I hate vinegar. Drank that stuff, felt like Gatorade. But don't take my word for it. I cannot recommend enough that you have this experience as well. And now you can. If you head on over to scamstuff.com, that's gear for the modern rogue. We now have those miracle fruit tablets available and you can get them and look like a badass. Have a whole party. You got enough to give everyone. And then it's like you're taking drugs in the 1960s. You're like, ah, grandpa, I'm not the only one fighting the system. Can we do another take on that? More importantly, we're going to give away five miracle fruit tablet packages to some lucky people who sign up over at gimme.scamstuff.com. You'll be entered in a free drawing and you, my friend, might get it for free unless you want to double your chances of winning. Well, I'm giving away five more only in a super secret drawing for people who are able to figure out this week's secret hidden message. Oh, what's that? You didn't know there's a secret hidden message? There's always a secret message. Yeah, I know, bro, but where do I put it? You put it at gimme.scamstuff.com and then you get to enter into a secret drawing. Thanks. Also, lose the attitude. Yeah, well, your voice smells. Is that a thing? <laughs> Last week, we announced our super colossal international t-shirt design challenge face-off. I challenged you guys to put together the ultimate t-shirt that the modern rogue should be proud to wear. Something that says you're one of us, but looks cool enough to be worn in public. I told you the deadline to enter was going to be June 27th, and I promised that whoever was selected would get three whole months of every single brand new release on scamstuff.com absolutely free. And you guys have delivered the goods, man. Over 150 different submissions and counting. We've noticed some themes though, so we wanted to talk about the do's and do nots of this competition. First off, do submit original designs. This modern rogue logo is off to a great start. Well done. Don't send me screen grabs of my own stupid face. I know what my face looks like. Do take pop culture references and mash them up to make them our own. That's cool. Don't send me completely badass looking t-shirt designs that you didn't do. 
do remember that you're telling a story with the shirt. It doesn't have to be beautiful art as long as it's something compelling. And don't send me pictures of your shoes. I'm not entirely sure what this person was thinking. <laughs> But most importantly, all of you guys do head on over to shirt.scamstuff.com and submit your entry. Keep those coming. We're going to get a badass looking shirt. We're going to look awesome. Everyone's going to see us. We're going to be like in a gang. And they're all like, oh, man, is that like a rad ass uniform that you got? And he's like, no, we just all happen to like the same shirt. What, you think that we all have to be in a gang just because we all wear the same clothes, do the same moves, we learn the same combat stuff? Okay, maybe we're in a gang. So what? Maybe, maybe we're in a gang. You want, can I buy you a drink? Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go.